Okay. Hey, everybody. This is Grand Mark here, and I'm that weird old lady that plays video games. So, I had some friends today who were out trying to do the bug cave on the island, and they wouldn't believe me when I said that they should use the Elder Bufos in there. I'm making it my mission to find myself a good Beelzebufo and show them how awesome the little frogs are. And I'm also here to sort of showcase the talents of the Carcanos, which is the giant crab. Okay, say hello to Kino. I'm not very imaginative, so his name is Carcino. And here he is. He's, uh, I think tamed him, I think, at a, he topped out at about level 300 or something at uh, 317 or something. Let's see what level he is. Three, uh, oh, four, okay. So he ta he started out at, at level 418. That's after I tamed him, that was what he tamed out at. So I'm also here to show you how awesome these guys are. These guys are great taming buddies for small dinos. If you have these guys, you do not need a bola. They're also great for farming because you pick up your automatic farming animal like a mush chops or a beaver. You just hold them in your hand and you walk around and the small animal will farm and you're just walking around on the back just cruising. So today we're going to show you two animals that are, or two dinos that are pretty darned awesome. If I can find those Beelzebufos that my tech transmitter told me they were out here. Oh, that's a nice looking berry on it. Okay. Fish wants to bug me. So I'll just slam them a little bit. By the way, the, car the Carquinos is also awesome for just biting. They're, they're great. Now watch, watch what this thing can do to a, a raptor here. I don't, caught them. First, and they jump. Right, so if you want to get somewhere quick, they're actually pretty quick. And this is what they do. Now, this raptor now can't do anything, right? And I'm just, now I'm going to just slam him. Slam him on the floor. Here are. Okay, he's fighting me, but I just slam him on the floor. And, the and they're incredibly tanky, too. The Carcanos is a pretty tanky little creature. He's going to get to level up a lot, because he's basically just out of the shell. Level 270. And 250. Hmm. See now, I could pick up that Baryonyx, but I'm, I really would rather a larger. And I'm here for the Beelzebufos, so a little froggy frogs. These fish are gonna bother me again. I'm gonna come over here and give my give Kino over here a little bit of help. Okay, there we go. So yeah, we're getting to 30, 30,000 points, and we're only 20 levels in. And I'm going to give him a little more melee. Later on, I'll give him maybe, I'll throw some um, points into movement speed and maybe stamina, but really, they don't need stamina. They're just tanks. They're great for carrying. They're great for farming. The Carcanos is uh, one of my favorite creatures in, um, in all of the entire arc. Like whenever I start a new character now, my, my goal is to get to Aberration or to get to a map that has a Carcanos and then they become my go-to dino for everything except for boss fights. Which I've never taken a Carcanos in a boss fight, but I'm thinking it wouldn't be too bad. They're so tanky. Oh, there's Carno. Let's slam him on the floor. Ooh, he's so pretty though. You know, if I wanted to tame this cup, this, uh, level 50. Nope. I think you have two supplies. a little bit. It's really nice that you don't have to. So, uh, a Carcanos can also pick up a Sarko. But a, a Sarko can also turn a Carcanos on its back. So, you want to pick them up as quickly as possible. Mm, level 50. Whoa, level 50. 
Everybody's just 50 around here. What's up with that? Alright, let's slam these guys around for a while. What you running for, Parasaur? I know, buddy. I'm sorry. You're just too I just love... I love Baryonyx. I'm actually still looking for the Beelzebufos. Where are you, frogs? I saw at least seven level 300 frogs on my tech. Nope. He's only level 50. He's, he's going to die anyway. Come on, little froggies. Where are you? You're not bad, yeah, but I generally only like like 280 or above. So you cannot pick up a Caprosuchus. Yeah, those Caprosuchus always pull me out. Now you wouldn't think a little thing like that could pull me off of like a 30 foot crab, but there you go, they can. Whatever. Although, I mean, to be fair, he started at lower points because I've been leveling him up so much. Where are the damn frogs? Wait, there's one. 30. Froggy, I don't want to kill, and you're so pretty too. Well, that's a lot of alligators around here. And I'm a little squishy on points right now, so how about you? Forty. Come on, where are you? Level three hundred. My tech generator lied to me. Ooh, look at this pretty baby. Wow. Can I pick that up? Oh, wow! I can pick up a, a Pachyrhinosaurus. Hey, you guys want to ride somewhere? Oh. oh, look at you guys. You're both so pretty. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I don't like to kill Pachyrhinosauruses. They're so cute. I'm just going to jump out of there. So your Carcanos will jump really, really high and really, really far. That's why I love them. They're also radiation proof, so if you're on AB, these are the guys you want to take down into the red zone because they're super tanky and you can kill most of the, the rockets on there. Oh, did I not get the switch? And I, I, you can stand on your crab. Which is really nice sometimes. I'm so nice. <laughs> My senses are picking up heaps of organic compounds in the air just floating around. I reckon you'd call them smells? It's just chemistry to me, mate. When you're sniffing around this biome, watch out for hydrogen sulfide. You know, H2S? My data says it smells pungent, but then it deadens a human sense of smell. You can breathe in the poison without realizing it. Well, okay. Uh, Rockies. Hello. Okay, well, you know. Okay, so this is what you can do with a crab. So I just found me a level 290 Baryonyx. I was not here for a Baryonyx. But I was prepared to tame one if I found a good one. She's 290. Oh, let's check out her stats if I can. If I can get close enough. 3700 melee. Is, what's her melee? Come on, melee is 205. I'm not quite sure. I don't know if those are good or not because it's been a really long time since I came to Baryonyx. But I would like to get to a slightly safer place. Her. I did not bring a trap. I should have. Normally I, I'll bring some sort of shelter. 
we have S plus here on our server, so we can um, we can pick up our structures if we need to. Oh, there's a terror bird down there. Uh, I'm gonna have to, okay, wait. So I'm gonna pick him up with my right hand. Now I don't want to hurt the baryonyx. So I'm just going to slam the terror bird. Right. She's still okay. There's another baryonyx here somewhere. I saw it. What is it? Yeah, this isn't a great place to tame. So I'm only using my right hand because I have the baryonyx in my left hand and I don't want to hurt her. Baryonyx seems to be enjoying the ride. She's not biting me or anything, so that was the one to see. Where can we go? Well, we can tame this little gal in a safe environment. We are in the bog. I might drop her, but all you gotta do is pick her up again. Oh, this isn't good, because we got a tighten a boa here. Just use my right hand. Oh, you want some too? Alright, we got it. Okay, I'm just trying to find... I just want a little quiet spot, you guys. Just to make this little gal my friend by... Shooting her with arrows, knocking her out. Shoving food down her face, and then she'll want to be my friend after that. Alright, so let me put some arrows. Frank arrows and my crossbow here. Hey baby, you're so pretty. Okay. I don't know if I get a headshot or a fire. No, I don't. No, 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 leave me alone. Oh, it's gonna kill my tame. No, 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 Kino, don't kill the tame. Don't, don't kill the tame. No, 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 don't kill the tame. Oh, I should have brought it. What's her health at? Oh, okay. I yeah, I can hit her a few more times, and she's almost done. So, okay, that's the bad thing about. There you go. She's down. All right. Okay, let's put some food on this little. Oh shoot! I forgot trains. Oh wait. I I don't think that Baryonyx. Um, wake up very fast. Let's put that in half. Okay. I'm just going to knock down all the trees in the area so I can see. Honestly, the crab is my favorite thing in the game. Well, one of my top five favorites. I mean, this, this thing is just so dang useful. I can't believe everybody doesn't ride around on this. And since I'm here, I'll get a good healing. Poor thing. She got really beat up. I'm sorry, baby. Oops. Put this back on her because it lasts longer. 
So uh, if I, when I edit this, I'll speed this part up because this part's really boring. I'm really hoping it'll wake up fast. Oh no, not at all. Oh, that should be fine. Um, actually, these blue flowers right here, these are exclusively narco berries. So I'm actually going to harvest these. Wait. There we go. Just in case she starts to wake up. Because I was a dummy head and did not bring any narco berries with me. Or any narcotics with me. So these dark blue flowers here are just narco berries. These are regular. I don't want to get too close to... The whip has a, a area, kind of an area effect, so... You want to be careful where you use it. The whip is amazing for picking up anything in an area, even if you're super overweight. Uh, you can pick up like 40,000 pounds or whatever um, with the whip. So if you're trying to pick up a bunch of metal and you can't get it because you have a weight limit, just use a whip. It'll, it'll pick right up. She's not great, but she's not bad. Oh shoot, these guys take fish. Oh man. And I don't have any fine fish. I just have regular. Wait, did I not put the mutton in there? Oh no, I just took it back. Oh shoot. Prime fish would be better. Darn it. Oh, that's terrible. Let me see if I can find... I do have a scythe on me. A sickle, rather. Oh, I shouldn't put it in there. Let's see if I can find some salmon down here. Oh, it's like, okay, so it's like five minutes later, and I ran into this guy. He's level 280. So let's see what kind of stats... His stats actually look pretty good, better than the other... Uh, better than the other one I tamed, and the other one was a girl. So, I guess my last one was a 250, which was not awesome, but oh well. Because he's super pretty. I love blue. The X, the Genesis dinos are just amazing. They're just gorgeous. Now, I know there's some 200 frogs around here. So, I will keep looking, but I do have a mating pair now. I might be able to breed them up enough to go in the bug cave. Our difficulty on this server is 10. Now, I do this... Um, I do the bug cave on my single player, which is difficulty 8. And max... Uh, max level wild dino is 150 on my single player. Boy, these guys came up fast, which is really nice. I remember one night I uh, I was on my Beelzebufo and I had not brought a flyer with me and I ended up dying way far away from my base. Um, but I was... I. I fell off my Beelzebufo, and um, I had a sleeping bag there, so I was able to jump on him, but I had no armor, nothing. It was pitch black, even with gamma, and uh, my little guy got me out of, like, 12 attacks in the dark. I didn't, I didn't even know what was hitting me, because these guys are awesome at getting away from things. So they may be squishy, but if you're good at riding them... Um, 
you can get away from just about anything. Just want to make sure there's no insect swarms. This area is pretty safe for taming. I, oh, oh, hello. How big are you? Forty. You can go. There you go, bud. Baryonyx down there. If I, there's a, a lake around here or like a stream or something where you do that quest to fish. Here we go. What should we name him? We'll name him Bob. And he is what, 419? I think it was. Come on, Bab. Okay, and just for the record, I am just horrible at naming dinosaurs. Just awful. My friends come up with the best names. Oop, give me my mutton back. It was hard to get. I had to go to Belgaro to get it. Although there is mutton in, I believe, the Arctic biome. Okay, still looking for those 300s. I'm just gonna tame like a bunch of them and get up into those tadpoles. Ooh, what's this? Oh, we must be near that. That pit with the... Where I got miserably killed the other day. Right? Is this the place? Very sure. Oh, terrible memories. Terrible! I came down here with a giga to do this quest, or this mission, and they took it away from me, and they gave me crappy weapons, and then they put weapons in there as traps. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Now it's pissed at me.
Break it up, guys. Break it up. I love to launch dino. So fun. You stuck, bud? Alright, here we go. Uh, no! Bye bye! <laughs> He's like, no! <laughs> Sorry, simple things for simple minds. <laughs> you know, that's really why Carcanos are my favorite dino, because I can launch other dinos across the map. By the way, you can do that with players, too. Oh, hello. What level are you? You're probably that... Oh, no, you're not that one that I had, because he's dead now. Um, oh, Helena wants to give me money again. Did you drop it? Where's the frog? Oh, you little... See, again, we did it with the right hand. The left hand is much more reliable. Alright. Come on. Oh! Oh, okay. See her stats again? Um, I don't. I think she's not as good, but all right, let's let's do it. Uh, could you stop doing that with your claws, you crazy crab? I know. I'm so sorry. I know that hurts, baby. Should be one more. There we go. Okay, I'm sorry. I know that. Oh, actually, well, this one is a higher level, so than that other one. I wish you could pick them up after you have them down, but I can kind of see their point that it, that would be like terribly OP. This looks like a pretty good place though. It's pretty secluded in here, so. Alright, let's check out her stats. Okay, well she's average too. I'm just like mediocre. Oh, no, 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 no. Insect swarms, they're so annoying. take these things up to 45 or 50 if I can get a good level crab. They're pretty easy to get in Aberration, so... And if you have the opportunity to play the Amissa map, they're super easy to get on Amissa map, and Valgaro too. Okay, so I, I got three frogs. So I can breed these together to make some pretty badass little dudes. They're super fast swimmers. Uh, and you can't beat them against bugs. So they, they're they super squishy with everything else. But with bugs, they have an area of effect. And they'll take out, like, entire groups of them at once. So, okay, I have three now. Uh, so I'm going to sign off. For sure, I'm really leaving this time. And you guys have a great evening. Bye-bye.